What if your everyday glasses could turn into a personal cinema, a productivity tool, a gaming setup, and even a hands-free vlogging camera, all without the need for a phone, cables, or any extra hardware at all? That's the idea behind the Inmo Air 3, and today I'm going to take you through what they can do, how they work in real life, and show you exactly what the display looks like through the lens. So inside the box, we've got the sunglasses attachment, the magnetic charger for the ring, We've got the touchpad, the Ring 3, followed by the glasses themselves in their carry box. Now this is a flat lens style set of glasses, and it makes them feel much more natural to wear in public compared to the bulky AR headsets or devices that need things like battery packs dangling from your pockets. Now these are instead lightweight, portable, and genuinely something that you can wear outdoors comfortably while traveling, relaxing, walking, or my favorite time to use these is actually when flying. And while they are a little bit bigger than normal glasses, that's because they do pack plenty of power. Now, what sets the Air 3 apart from a lot of other AR glasses is that they're completely self-contained and you don't need a phone connected at all, which I love. There's no wires, no external battery pack, no tethering, and everything you need is built right into the glasses themselves, so you can just put them on and start watching, browsing, gaming, or recording footage instantly. Now, the reason they can do this is that the display technology inside isn't like anything you'd see in traditional smart glasses. The Inmo Air 3 uses a full-color 1080p Sony Micro OLED panel. It's got 600 nits of brightness, so the picture is sharp, bright, and vivid, even when you're outside in sunlight. Now, it uses a one-dimensional expansion waveguide array, which refines the image but also keeps it bright. And it also adds anti-peeping privacy layer, meaning only you can see what's coming up on the screen. Now the display gives you a 36 degree field of view, and this translates to about a 150 inch virtual screen in front of you. When you see it in person, it genuinely feels like watching a huge cinema display right in front of you. It follows your eye line, there's no looking up or down, and everything is just nicely centered. And it's perfect for Netflix, YouTube, TikTok, or anything you want to stream. Now if I cut now to the through the lens footage, you can see just how it looks. While it's very hard to capture with my camera, in person it's bright clean and an immersive experience. And what makes this experience even better than other glasses I've tried is that the Air 3s aren't just a display, they're an entire standalone AR system built into these glasses running the Snapdragon XR platform. Now they've paired it with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, so plenty for your apps and files. And this means apps don't just mirror from your phone, and instead they run natively on the glasses. You've got Google mobile services built straight into the system, so you can install any apps like YouTube, Netflix, Office tools, email apps, navigation apps, and even some games as we've got access to the Google Play Store. You can check emails hands-free, watch films on a big screen while lying down. You can follow maps while you're walking or multitask with multiple floating windows around you, or even just relax with your favorite Android games. Now, controlling everything feels surprisingly intuitive thanks to three interaction methods that Inmo built in, and of course, having Bluetooth means that you can hook up any Bluetooth accessories. So I also tried it with my Bluetooth keyboard, which was great for browsing, and even a controller for some gaming. You've got the touchpad along the side of the glasses for swipes and taps, and this works like a mini trackpad. You've then got the Inmo navigation system built directly into the template of the glasses, so you can navigate menus with simple finger movements without the need for controls. Now finally, we've got the Inmo Smart Ring 3. This is one of the coolest parts of the system. The ring offers three degrees of freedom, meaning it can track direction and movement in 3D space. So you can point at items in the AR interface. You can click on them, scroll, select windows, reposition the screen, or even play games using the ring like a controller. Now it makes interaction feel natural without needing a bulky controller or holding something like your phone up. You can even use the ring for quick shortcuts like clicking to take a photo or double clicking and it's gonna open the camera instantly. Now, speaking of the camera, the Air 3 includes a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera built in with a 120 degree field of view, which is great for capturing travel clips or vlogging hands free. It's always ready to go, and because it's built into the frame, you don't need to pull out your phone at all to record moments that happen quickly around you. And the wide angle lens makes it perfect for capturing scenery or group shots without thinking about the framing. Now, it's a great addition for people who like documenting their day or shooting quick clips while you're walking or traveling. So we'll just take a look at the camera samples now. So this is a test inside. Just walking around, there's a dog. Hello. This to give you an idea what the video quality is going to be like indoors. We're coming in to some very warm yellow lighting there. If we walk upstairs away from it, some more natural light. 
you see uh, this is the kind of video quality you're going to get indoors this is a video walking down a darker alley outside raining slightly so hopefully that doesn't go on the camera but this is a bit of a lower light situation outside with the dog now we're out in the field again raining a bit and a little bit of a miserable day but it's actually really nice while you're filming you can see what you're filming but it also doesn't block your view you can still see in front of you so I'm looking at the dog I can still just about see the dog through the screen but of course if I look up a bit then the dog's in my full view just do some panning around and some walking forward so you can see what the stabilization is like there's also a little bit of wind coming at me so it's going to be interesting to see how the glasses deal with that but this is the but this is the quality you're going to get from the video camera so if you're into gaming the air 3 supports cloud gaming services so you can use the huge 150 inch display to play AAA games on the go now it feels like having a personal monitor that you can bring anywhere without carrying any actual hardware you can also install android games directly onto the glasses well, they won't be able to play at the latest AAA titles in full graphics and the highest refresh rates. I did test it with Asphalt, which is a relatively demanding game, and I was able to play it. Now, another thing that makes the Air 3 interesting is that they're not just a consumer product, they're also a platform for developers. Now, Inmo offers an OpenAI agent interface and SDK support, meaning developers can build their own apps, tools, or AI assistants for the glasses. And the system integrates with Inmo Agent, which is based on the open source N8N workflow engine, so you can run custom AI agents, automation tools, and even third party assistance, something like ChatGPT. Now, developers can build apps, they can test them and submit them directly to the Inmo App Store. And Inmo provides technical QA and debugging support through their global community. So, if like me, you're not a developer, it's still an advantage because over time, you're likely going to see more and more tools built for the Air 3 as people create them. Now, altogether, the Inmo Air 3 is shaping up to be a really flexible all in one AR solution. You've got the 1080p Sony Micro OLED display. 600 nits of brightness, we've got the 1D expansion waveguide, 36 degree field of view, a 150 inch virtual screen, the Snapdragon XR processor, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 storage, and then of course the 16 megapixel wide angle camera, and then all the intuitive ways to control it including the smart ring. Now it's lightweight, completely wireless, it's easy to carry and capable of running apps independently without needing your smartphone. And the thing I like the most is that the screen is so clear and it's not difficult to see. It's kind of naturally in the center of your vision while still remaining high quality and it's far better than earlier AI glasses that we featured from other brands on the channel and it really does make it suitable for everything from browsing, watching media to gaming and it doesn't matter if you're indoors or outdoors. Now most of the time I found myself using it with the sunglasses attachment because personally I just prefer to see mainly the screen and not so much around me but that's just my preference and when you remove them you've got clear vision as well as a bright screen that you can turn on and off at the click of a button and of course screen brightness is also customizable for those who want it a little bit dimmer. Now the fact they've got Android built in also means that you can have everything you want in terms of apps and usage. If you prefer Chrome browser just download it and enjoy surfing the web with that. If you like Netflix, again, just go ahead and download it. And of course, it means that you can just natively run all your apps like YouTube, TikTok, and anything else straight from the glasses. Now, for those of you that want to check them out, of course, I've placed a link down in the description below so you can go ahead and grab yours now. Hopefully, I've covered everything in today's video. But if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech.